Bozzy Ennis says, Tim Zhu wants Earl Spence next, not Terrence Crawford. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, Bozzy Ennis recently gave an interview. He spoke about some potential matchups. Terrence Crawford, Tim Zhu, Terrence Crawford, Sebastian Fedora, Earl Spence, Tim Zhu, Earl Spence, Fedora, possibly Earl Spence Crawford. But he has some really interesting things to say about Tim Zhu's next fight. And I just want to break all that down. Give my 5,000 nickels for anybody. Yeah. And then I found out that he said he, he would rather fight Earl Spence next. After he went after he went to fight, he wanted to fight Earl Spence next, I heard. And then he said if he can't get Earl Spence, then he'll fight Crawford. Because somebody said he, well, he, he was trying to dump Crawford. I, I don't think he was trying to dump Crawford. You know what I mean? I think that's the fight he wanted. You know what I mean? You know? All right, so Terrence Crawford, Tim Zhu, Bozzy Ennis, Earl Spence, Sebastian Fedora. What's really going on? Kiss my converse. So, Bozzy Ennis recently gave an interview. He spoke about Tim Zhu's next fight. We all know that Terrence Crawford was recently elevated to WBO mandatory for Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu's about to fight Sebastian Fedora for the WBO title and a vacant title. I believe it's the IBF. Don't quote me on that. You have smoked yourself retarded. But there is another vacant title on the line. And the real question, I think everybody sees Tim Zhu getting past Fendora, even though Fendora's very tall, very lanky, very awkward style of fighting to get past. If Tim Zhu gets past that, who will Tim Zhu actually fight next? Because I have heard Tim Zhu in recent interviews say that he's favoring the Earl Spence fight next over the Terrence Crawford fight, but now that Terrence Crawford is mandatory, who actually deserves that fight? You know, I think that that's a pretty good question to ask the boxing community and try to figure this out together. Well, if you ask me, I think it depends on what Tim Zhu's actually going for. If Tim Zhu wants a fight that a lot of people say would be history making and all this other stuff, then fighting Terrence Crawford, I think, would be that fight to make because I think people look at Terrence Crawford as a legend in the making. He's like a Hall of Famer already and people want to fight those Hall of Famers because later on in the future you want your name attached to those names. <laughs> Stop it. Now here's the thing about Terrence Crawford. Yeah, he put up some pretty good fights. He beat Earl Spence, yada yada yada. But Earl Spence actually sells tickets and pay-per-views where Terrence Crawford needs another name to actually sell events and pay-per-views. So, is Tim Zhu going for that legendary fight? Or is Tim Zhu trying to sell tickets and become more popular in the U.S.? So, if he's trying to sell tickets and become popular, of course you're going to go after that Earl Spence fight. If you're trying to go after legacy and, and fighting a Hall of Famer, I don't know why people think that Earl Spence is not going to make it to the Hall of Fame, but it is what it is. Then you would go after that Terrence Crawford fight because, hey, everybody's saying that his legacy is better than Earl Spence's at the moment. Baby, turn this shit off. So, you know, Bozzy Ennis said that he feels like Terrence Crawford would beat both Sebastian Fedora and Tim Zhu. So... <laughs> I think that if you're Tim Zhu and you feel like Terrence Crawford's a real threat, you might wait that Terrence Crawford fight out a little while. You might go get that bag of money that comes with that Earl fight. See if you can beat Earl. If you can get past Earl, then, of course, Terrence Crawford is the next name up. But Earl Spence seems to have a lot going on in his life and his career. The Derrick James problems that's going on. The eye problems. We don't know when he's actually coming back. So, you know, it's, it's a, a tricky choice. God, if you listen to hell, he had sex with my mama. Why? Get away from me, bitch. I think if you left it up to Bozzy Ennis to make the decision, he would say go after Spence because he's already said Terrence Crawford would beat him. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a tricky decision for Tim Zhu. And for people saying that Terrence Crawford's the automatic next fight because of the WBO situation, 
you got to remember this. Tim Zhu is possibly going to pick up another title. So he could fight Earl Spence next, just not for, you know, the WBO strap. Maybe he actually fights him for the other strap and the WBO title is not actually on the line or something of that nature. We don't know where Earl Spence is going to be ranked at 154. So perhaps if Tim Zhu picks up that other title, Earl Spence will already be ranked in that sanction and body. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a job. Because guess what? You're lazy. You're not doing anything. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. I got to be real with you. I'm not hating. I ain't tearing nobody down. Everybody can't be Virgil. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. Everybody can't be Mike and LeBron, Kobe. Everybody can't be DMX, little baby. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. That's not the reality. The reality is you need to start looking around the whole big picture. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. But I know it look easy, so you say to yourself, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to sit in my mom's crib. I'm going to be a beggar. I'm going to be a squatter in somebody else's house. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. That's not how life works. And, and, and right now, I'm talking about a bunch of future 30 and 40 year old basement warriors is going to come. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. Go get a job. Nothing is wrong with having a job. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. Stop being lazy running around with all these illusions that, oh, I could be a big time rapper. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. And I really don't put the work in, and I'm really not that high. We got to really start embracing the reality of life, and we got to start looking at the executive position. How can I work in a league? I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. Like, we got to start looking at that because the internet told everybody that you could do anything without doing anything. I mean, we got to know what, it, what his money is going to. And that's not reality. Go get a job. Stop being lazy. Oh, $15 ain't enough. It's more than not doing nothing. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. The like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes. Holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product or your channel or my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail. Because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are... Illuminati want your mind, soul, and your body. body. You want a red bone, hottie, and a Maserati. Right. Is that a fur trade? I was in third grade, writing down mean. Now I'm as clean as your maid. Get these bitches wet, they some mermaids. Take a survey, they all prefer K. E Y Z, still in the money. I'm a Louisville legend, and I'm still in my twenties. Super cool, wind chill in the 20s, but I still pack heat. I can make it feel sunny. So you can rock a white beater when I'm mobbing through. But be safe and bring your coat and your toboggan too. I'm out of here. 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 Where you from, nigga? I would clown your ass, but you can't get smart with a dumb nigga. Dumb nigga, I would shank your ass, but you can't knife fight with a gun, nigga. If Lewis Keys did it, it's a damn banger. Tape on the 38 like a jam banger. To this rap shit, I ain't no damn stranger. They wanna throw me off the boat, but I'm the damn anchor. And my team right clean Looking like tomato juice in my rising My eyeballs blood shot to red All eyes on Lewis Keys, no pocket red I'm out of here I'm out of my mind I got voices in my head, voices, voices in my head They say keys, get that money, get that paper, get that bread Don't be worrying about the cop, don't be worrying about the feds Don't be worrying about your wifey and the shit that she done said That's three voices, one grind time three How the hell one nigga gonna outshine me? I said that's three voices, one grind time three How the fuck one nigga gonna outshine keys?